Oh, if you've just joined me, I'm on a, a live site inspection now. Just trying to find the um, septic tank and soak away. If you've been watching my septic tank TV channel the last couple of days, you'll know that the government have literally changed all the rules and they brought in something called the um, retrospective planning approval. And basically what it means is from the 1st of Jan 2020, all septic tank owners across the UK will have to apply to building control for planning approval. It costs 350 quid. Um, just because you apply for planning approval doesn't mean that you'll get approval ah, for your septic tank and soak away. Especially if it's over 25, 30 years old. So that's the new rules and regulations that have come in. Um, so the thing is, how do you get your septic tank approved once you've paid your 350 quid? Well, uh, there are, uh, you can just ignore it, ignore it and hope, hope it goes away. Uh, or um, you can pay your 300 quid, 350 quid and hope for the best. If they don't approve your septic tank and soak away, then you can get a firm in to spend 15, 20, 25,000 quid to replace or relocate your septic tank and soak away. Or, or, which I've been telling people for a while now, you could get yourself a, gov a free government compliance form. What that will do is that will show the um, building control that you're a responsible septic tank owner and they'll put you to the bottom of the list because they're trying to target irresponsible septic tank owners. So that's what that will do. And that's free from septictank.co.uk. Then if your septic tank goes into a soakway, into the ground or into a water course, then the simple way and the easy way is just to get yourself a septic tank converter. There's, we do one called the ecosystem, they're government approved. They literally take two hours to install and it'll automatically get your septic tank the, the green tick of approval. So that's why, why I make these live broadcasts because, uh, because I want to help people. I'm actually going through this wood and stuff now uh, because, yes, I do enjoy working with septic tanks and soakaways but i do this because i want to help people and i want to help you so if you've got a septic tank and soak away whether you go into the water course or whether you just go into the soil the retrospective um building approval is affecting every septic tank owner in the UK. So you can, as I say to people, you know, you can either ignore it and hope it goes away or hope they change the law by then. But, uh, but there's an easy way and a cheap way uh, to make your septic tank legal and compliant or there's a hard way. And so that's why I make these, these broadcasts, these live broadcasts to help you. So look, if you want free help and advice, just go to septictank.co.uk. Give me a ring. It's free. Right, get yourself a free government compliance form. Get yourself a septic tank converter. Make your septic tank legal and government approved, right? 90%, 95% of people won't be doing that. They'll just leave it to chance. They'll leave it. Because what happens is, right, when the government inspectors come around after you paid your 350 quid, to do the inspection if it's leaking if it's blocked if it smells they won't approve them full stop and so then you'll have to fork out you know two grand here five grand there ten grand there to get it all fixed right just like an mot on your car 
but by putting a septic tank uh, converter in like the ecosystem it will basically save all that hassle and make your septic tank legal so there you go that's my free tip of the day live from site and uh, uh live <laughs> yeah from my site inspection here so look if you want to see more of me or you want to see more free tips and advice then just go to septic tank tv just go to google and type in septic tank tv you'll see more of me but the point is look you'll get loads of free tips and free advice there so aha i can see it over there so listen take care uh as i said any questions any queries give us a bell but um I'll speak to you soon.